Hi guys, this is Sandra, founder of Sumo Kum Flood, where failure is a springboard for success, <laughs> not a highway to hell. Uh, apologies, y'all. I'm like really tired today. Um, so this video is just going to be, I guess, like an update video. Um, uh, yeah, an update video on like yeah health stuff i don't know guys i'm sorry um so i had wanted to talk about this earlier but a month ago I, I guess it was like september 30th to be exact um i read this book called the willpower instinct by dr kelly mcgonigal from stanford university and i was just so inspired by that book i really really recommend that you all read it i'll put the link in the description box but um, I remember uh, I was listening to it uh, on Audible and I was just really inspired to do some sort of like uh, challenge. Um, she breaks down like different types of like willpower challenges. There's like, I won't power, I will power and some other ones that she mentions. So I decided I was going to work on like an I will challenge. And on September 30th, I told myself that I was going to run every day for 30 days um and so that's exactly what i did i have the couch to 10k app and i just would do a workout from that app every day for 30 days and it was amazing it was hard um i had days where i didn't want to get up and run especially on days where i was struggling with annoying things like menstruation, I'll just be honest and say it, okay? Raw, real, and unedited, I done told y'all that. But yeah, just feeling like, dang, like, do I really have to do this? But I think what made this challenge powerful for me was that it taught me that I can keep promises to myself. Um, uh, outside of like track and cross country in high school, I have never run longer than five days straight, if that. Um, so, you know, I, we would have our workouts Monday through Friday, the weekends. You can catch me inside, chilling in my room. I'm not doing a workout. But during this 30-day challenge, every single day, I would wake up and I would go run. And if I didn't wake up on time for my run, I would have to run in the evening, which I hated. And so it really motivated me to, like, get moving. Um, and I noticed some health benefits, of course. Um, my sleep has been a lot better. My skin is getting clear. I don't know if y'all can tell, but, uh, yeah, girl's skin is clearing up. Um, it feels like a lot smoother. Uh, I'm not getting breakouts like I used to, because let me tell y'all, I don't know if you could tell in my um, videos that I shot over the summer, but Boston's humidity wrecked my skin, okay? Wrecked it like a wrecking ball. I'm telling you, my face was looking like the moon, craters, pockets everywhere. I said, God, what is this? A whole me, 20, 26 going on 27, and I'm looking like I hit puberty for the first time. This is not okay. So um, the running has really solved that issue. Just sweating a ton does something to clear out your pores, I guess. I don't know. Um, but that's been really helpful. And then I mentioned the whole sleep thing. And then like even more importantly than like the physical um improvements or just like confidence in, in what I say that I'm going to do so if I say listen Sandra I'm gonna run every day for 30 days I know that I can do that um and and I think that's so important because I think oftentimes we make promises to ourselves and we break them and then we just you know fall into this habit of like being undisciplined um, because at the core of it we don't really trust um the promises we make to ourselves. And so that was really important to me. And, and I'm really excited to see how I can extend this idea. Yeah, yeah, let's try that again. I um, I got interrupted, my brother FaceTime me. I'm gonna call you back, John, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how, can I, how I can extend this idea of keeping promises to myself and to other areas of my life and to really develop self-discipline. Um, so yeah, November is like two days away. Um, and I'm thinking November's challenge will be something to the effect of like nutrition and 
um, I'm just gonna announce it on here and say it. I'm planning on eating a primarily plant-based diet. Um, so, you know, I don't like the term vegan. I have a, a, a interesting history with that, but essentially a vegan diet. Um, with the important caveat, let me let me say something because I know people will now be tracking what I mean. And hey, didn't you say you were vegan? Listen, come Thanksgiving, I will eat whatever my mom cooks. You hear me? If she's cooking okra soup with goat meat, I'm eating it. If she's cooking fried rice with liver, I'm eating it. If she's even cooking jollof rice with um, uh, meat stock, I will eat it. So just because I said I'm eating a primarily plant-based diet, don't start clocking and docking me to see, oh, but I thought you said, because I'm putting the disclaimer out here now, I said primarily. I didn't say exclusively. I said primarily. So... I started this challenge yesterday. Um, I had to throw away my Lucky Charms bars because they have dairy in them. But yeah, I really want to shift into a PPB diet because um, that's probably going to be a video discussion for another day. I'm going to be honest with y'all and say that. It's a long, <laughs> it's a long story, but um, I'm excited. Um, I'm not excited for my dining hall's food, though, because, you know, they could do better with the vegan options, but... I'll do what I can. I'll do the best that I can. I will enjoy myself on Thanksgiving Day. Um, and yeah, just figure it out from there. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, highly suggest Willpower Instinct. Highly suggest that you two take some sort of 30-day challenge, whatever it might be. This might be a monthly thing for me, y'all. I may, you know, do a monthly update. Hey, this month's challenge is... So um, we'll see. But I'm, I, had, I had a lot of fun for the most part in October. It was hard, but it was fun. Um, and so I'm excited for what November will bring. I'm also gonna continue to run. I don't know if I'm gonna do it every day. Um, and in addition to that, I would also like to lift weights cause I think that stuff is great. So I'll have some updates for you in November. Um, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, share with me promises that you plan to keep to yourself, have kept to yourself, um, are keeping to yourself challenges that you're having and being disciplined and let's encourage one another thank you for listening and i'll see you next time bye